sometimes when we have tight hips in CrossFit, we need to loosen them up. So we can do, we can start with some Spider-Man stretches that I'm showing here, where I put my left foot out, my knee pointed out over my pinky toe, leaning it forward while keeping my whole foot on the ground. And then I'm gonna take my elbow and try to put my elbow down to the floor. I'm now going to push away, push away that knee. I'm trying to create space between my left knee and my right knee. You may also feel a stretch in your opposite hip flexor. So for me, that would be my hip flexor on my right side. I'm then going to turn into that knee, still pressing it out over the outside of my foot. Now I'm gonna turn away from my knee. This is helping my thoracic spine as I stretch out my hip flexors. I'm now I'm gonna lay down into pigeon. Again, this is a hip flexor stretch, but it's also gonna stretch my glute uh, on the same leg that's laying in front of me. Now I'm gonna to try to lay down as far as I can. If I can't lay down, that's okay. The next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go through those same stretches, uh, but this time I'm gonna take a band uh, to help pull uh, that femur into the hip socket. So I'm gonna take a, th a thick band, green is the best. I'm gonna wrap it around the pole as I'm showing here. And I'm gonna pull that into my hip crease really as high as I can. And then I'm gonna stretch that leg out away from the, from the rig. And I'm gonna do uh, the same stretches I did before. This time I'm gonna spend more time going into circles, giving that band an opportunity to pull that femur down into the hip capsule as best as possible. I'm turning into that knee one more time. Now I'm gonna turn away. And you'll notice I'm a bit shaky. That band is pulling on me pretty hard. So don't uh, be surprised if you start to lose your balance. Uh, that's okay. Just try to regain it as best you can. You may need to back up and get closer to the rig uh, if it's pulling on you too far. This is one of my favorite stretches. You can stay here for even two to three minutes if you want. Just allowing that band to, to do its job. I'm not pull, pushing or pulling against the band. I'm letting it pull me. And now I'm gonna get into a squat, a deep squat. My feet are, are flat on the floor. We don't want to be up on our toes in this squat. We want our, our feet to be flat on the floor and I'm just moving side to side, giving that band an opportunity uh, to again, pull that hip, that femur into my hip, into my hip capsule. Now I'm gonna take off the band and I'm done.